Hey, 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 what's up, world? It's your boy, G-Shrimp, everybody, for your baby daddy, the voice of the street, man. And today we in <laughs> Chicago with it, man. Now, before we get started with the little story I was finna tell y'all, right? I went to a funeral yesterday, y'all. One of my partners, he passed away. You know, not, uh, he didn't get killed, thank God. He was just sick a little bit, y'all, and you know, he had a funeral. Nice turnout, y'all. A bunch of people was there because he was a good nigga, y'all. But, <laughs> but, it seemed like Gatlin dropped the ball here. I don't know what they was doing, what happened. Maybe they were understaffed or something, but not the funeral, y'all. Supposed to start at 4 o'clock. And it end at five. You hear me? I'ma say that again. It started at four o'clock and supposed to end it at five. Now I'm running a little late, y'all. Not on purpose. I'm just running a little late. I fall in there. I'm like, damn. At least I kiss the end. Maybe I get in at like four thirty-eight. When I get around that, too, it's like four forty. I'm thinking, damn, I might ain't going to see nothing. You know black folks running some shit when uh, you can go somewhere late and still be on time. <laughs> you hear me, man? You can go somewhere late and still be on time. How the fuck? So they up there, they doing their little thing, his kids, everybody doing right. I think the preacher was drunk, y'all. I swear to God, no lie. I think he was drunk. Because most preachers preach the word. They know what they're talking about. Bam! Amen! Let the church say amen. Everybody going to do it. He started talking about faith. And he trying to talk about my partner. He want to do the eulogy, but I think he was unprepared and do his homework, y'all. Because he just... Up in the bullpit, rambling, y'all, rambling. Just it ain't no word being preached or nothing. He just rambling for real, y'all. The man started. He said, "This brother here, he had faith, y'all." And we like, yeah, okay. And then after faith, he got a little bit more faith. I'm like, okay. And then he got to what we call. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He paused, y'all. No lie, this is no joke. He paused. Uh, damn, I think that speech was on here. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck it, I got to wing it. <laughs> then he got what we call bold faith. And I'm sitting here like, what the fuck is he talking about? I'm trying to rock with him, y'all, but I, I'm, he losing. What the fuck? And then he started doing this shit that other preached to. I said he had bone faith. I said, Peach, if you don't stop hollering in this motherfucking microphone, I'm sitting by a speaker. Boy, my motherfucking ears was ringing. I'm like, man. I'm saying, man, you do know we can hear you, man. We're in the same goddamn building, man. Stop all that goddamn hollering. And you ain't even talking about shit. Go get to man. Goddamn it. I can tell you something about his life and help you if that's the case. But damn, man. Just rambling, y'all. I'm like, okay, we finally get to that. They finna let us out, y'all. And like I said, he looked like he... He was drunk. We getting ready to leave. And you know they hit that song. If anybody asks you. Dun, 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 where am I going? So they playing the song nice and soft. So normally people will start singing. And you know on the way out. But you know they hadn't started yet. Because people was leaving. And I hear somebody start singing. Look. Where am I going? I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to watch this lady hit this little note real quick, right? Where am I going? Where? Where 
way out of it. I don't know if the piano player stopped it like it stopped. You don't supposed to even be here. Right? I walks around. This bitch got on street clothes, y'all. I'm looking like, who the fuck is this? And on my mama, she looked like she could have been a crackhead or alcoholic. Every bit of it. I said, that's probably real right. The first lady in the left her motherfucking dress at home. Lord, have mercy. I look, I'm like, girl, if you don't get your ass off this mic and go to the goddamn store where you supposed to be. I, when the preacher said that, y'all, I had to crack him. He said, he had bold faith. I tapped the person I was with and said, he telling a bold face ass lie, ain't it? That's what he doing. They start die laughing. I'm like, man, why he up there telling a bold face lie? Just winging it, man. You should have been prepared. He just winging it, man. And I'm like, okay, I ain't upset. I got to see a lot of people I ain't seen in a while, my partner kids, and you know, they so glad to see me. They like, uh, damn, gee, man, be glad they hugging me like, y'all act like y'all didn't think I was going to come or something. Y'all know this my partner, nigga. You know, I watched them little boys grow up. The one I used to watch at the damn baseball game, he was there. He like, shit, what the fuck? I wanted to say, boy, we in there. Well, we wasn't in church, I guess, you he, he cussing, though, but I'm like, damn, okay. But he was glad to see me. Glad to see me, man. And just let you know, everybody got to go. Okay, now what we was talking about, y'all. I'm going to tell you what we was talking about a little while ago. Going on down memory lane about some shit. And then, like I said, some of these stories may or may not be true. You know, so I have to say that this is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So, you know, some of the words might be changed or switched around to protect the innocent and the guilty. You hear me? Okay. Let's say us. I want to say us. Let's say it's this guy, right? He stay. Let's say I use this area. Let's say. He stayed on 73rd Street, right? Let's say 73rd Street. And all the guys is down there on this street. Now, from that 73rd and the next street going back that way is 72nd. It's a little guy, let's say he stayed on 72nd, but he stayed close enough to 73rd to be influenced by them, right? So, uh, he's a young guy, wasn't really banging, but you could tell which way he was leaning, right? So the ops didn't like that. He letting all the little high school kids hang on his porch and they all majority is moles. They didn't like that. Now, let me pause for a minute. Ma, if you want to keep your kids out of gangs quickly and all this, don't let them have no motherfucking company. Because when they start having company, it becomes the hanging out and gathering a spot where everybody hangs. And for you know it, that motherfucker will be the chief of some shit. You know what I mean? Chief of the block or whatever. He'll be calling some shit. Now that's just my little input. Take it how you want to take it. So this little boy had all the guys hanging on his porch, which like I say would have been stones. And he on the block that really technically belonged to the folks. But they not fucking with them, you know. I guess they get upset, y'all. And uh, decide to target this little boy. He a young guy too, y'all. They too. And this is what pissed me off about the situation. I mean, he ain't even built like that yet. He ain't with no smoke or no sliding. But I understand they figure he becoming a problem because he inviting all the guys over, right? Don't you know they threw a cocktail in this boy house, y'all? And then had some shooters in the back. Thank God they didn't execute that plan correctly. They threw the cocktail through the front. Whoosh, the house is catching on fire. Dave, we got to go. Now these people trying to make an exit. We talking about we got a mama in the house, a daddy, a sister, and a little brother, which is the little guy. They coming out the back and blah 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 blah. They 
get low. What the fuck? Now, maybe the guy was shooting in the air or whatever. Maybe it could have been a scare tactic, but motherfucker, we don't know. But you know, motherfuckers don't play like that, y'all. You don't play like that. So let's say niggas got together and had a little meeting. Man, you heard what they did to shout it? Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, man. Yeah, them pussy motherfuckers, they do. Oh, don't worry. We we on they ass, yo. We gonna get back on they ass, man. All right. We on them. Man, you got a nigga in the circle. Hey. Yeah. You know, my granddaddy was in the army. Man, that's so fucking what? What the fuck they got to do with this, man? Man, shut your ass up, man. I'm not your granddaddy. I don't want to hear that shit. Oh, fast. So, why why you say that? Look, guy, well, why you say that? Man, he got one of them things in upstairs. One of them what? I don't know what it is, did you? I said, oh, a, a, a grenade? But we don't know if it worked, man. We, I ain't being never tested. Well, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't know if it worked, motherfucker. I'm pretty sure. Okay, well, that's what y'all want to do. Take this. Take, hey, dig this here, man. I don't know what's in that thing. Take you some gas anyway. Cause we got to get our leg back. They want to burn up houses and shit. We go. They, we get our leg back. We don't know what that little green thing going to do. We go do what we fuck that. You know, niggas in there just woofing, talking shit, you know. Some motherfucker, all right, we, we go get on it. Boy, look, y'all. They threw that motherfucker in one house and glass, which I have nothing to do with, y'all. So let me see this. In one house, and that bitch blew up three damn houses on the block. Poof, poof. And fire and smoke. Next day, I hear, I'm hearing about it. Motherfucker slide through. Dang, 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 strap. I'm like, what? You you rolled up the block. What block? This woo woo, -woo block. I'm like, oh, I ain't rolled up the block. You might have been over there. For what? Nigga, that ain't my motherfucking block. No, I ain't rolled up that damn block. Man, you need to go over there. For what? Motherfucker convinced me to go over there. I'm looking like, God damn. That motherfucker worked it, huh? No, but look to the left, dude. <gasps> That's the candy in the house! Oh, and this is this the customer shop with us? Okay, well, who house is the other one? That's dude house. That's one of them? Yeah, but these two collateral damage. Well, nothing I can do about it. Motherfuckers want to throw cocktails in houses and shoot up shit. Then, hey, you set the tone. I have to go, go. You feel me? You set the tone. Most shit happen. I always tell y'all it's a reaction for the shit, right? Anything you do, motherfucker retaliate for it. You, it's like you're playing chess anyway, but any move you make determines what other move will be made. Like I always say this too, what you do in your past go always protect your future. What you do in your past always go affect your future. So if you are arsonist and burning up houses and you burn up somebody's house, somebody might burn up your motherfucker house. If you're a gunslinger and you put a motherfucker down, somebody might come and put you down eventually. A lot of times, y'all, the gunslingers never get caught because they ain't never out. They ain't at risk. They don't put themselves at risk. They just sit back and wait on the phone to ring. Hey, Joe, these niggas, woo, 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 woo. Like you said, call me when it's busting, nigga. All right, hey, Joe, this woo, woo, woo. Me and my partners had a joke, right? We knew a lot of big time hustlers. Now we doing our thing, but we really ain't on their level. They moving bricks. 
we might be at four and a half, maybe a nine pennies. You know, we getting it, but not like they getting it. And they'll call me when they got a problem. Me and my partner, we we had this car and we had a phone in there. This was the early days when there ain't no lot of motherfucker cell phones out. Matter of fact, I think this was even the time when the phone was in the car. Or it's, maybe it's a bad one. But our joke was, we called it the murder phone. He said, man, that motherfucker don't ring unless they want to slide on the motherfucker. Every time a nigga run over the pack, Hey, sure, but man, this this pussy ass nigga, man, I, mean, I gave that nigga a brick here and brought my money back. How long has it been? It's been a week, maybe two. Man, man, why the fuck you didn't get a brick to me? Oh, man, now they got a backpedal and make up some shit. You straight, shrimp. You are getting money. You don't need no money. What the fuck you mean I don't need no money? You, you decent already, man. Come on, don't be like that. I'm like, man, I get tired of every time I turn around, y'all calling me to re retrieve some shit that another motherfucker took. You shouldn't have gave it to him. Some of these niggas, boy, be big time, be pussy than a motherfucker. But they always know a shooter. Every time some shit is a mess, they're going to call me. One big time, and they took his car, y'all. Took this nigga car. And parked it on the block, told him where it was, told him to come get the motherfucker. But you better have that six thousand dollars for this car. He calls me and tell me about it. I'm like, they say come get the car. He like, yeah, I rode by, man, the car out there. The car out there? It's parked where they say it was that? Yeah. Damn, they must really think you a pussy, man. I said, you got the extra set of keys to it. He like, yeah, yeah, my girl had a set. I'm like, give me them keys, man, and you gonna pay me when I get back. Man, we flipped over the this park. We didn't know where these niggas at. We parked, walked right to the, hey, we hop. Come get your money. Come on out, get paid. Now they see the cars and shit out there. They look like they were like, Hell no, nah, I'm not going out. There's about five cars out there, man. Hell no. Nah. If they fucking with the car, y'all, they must got an extra set of keys. We getting that motherfucker. I let the bitch run for a minute. Oh. Let's see if anybody going to be silly enough to come out. Or we can give it to the air. Nobody come out. Like, come on, let's go. Oh. I told him, now nah, I retrieved your car. You probably would have paid the six. Let me get that six, five, or whatever. Man, Shemper. I keep, now you know what? You finna give me at least three thousand. I'll take this bitch back over there, nigga. Oh, my mama, I'll take it back. Alright, I'll give you three thousand, Shemper. I'm gonna ride over each. No, you're not riding nowhere. Not in this, anyway. You wanna go get the money, come back, have somebody bring it. But this car not moving until you give me my money, dog. All uh, right, uh, he called the bitch. She woo, pulled up, dropped that bread off. Had I let that nigga took that car, y'all, I've never seen that money at all. I'd have seen him again, but I would have never seen that money. You know, and then like I said, the wolves and a lot of the niggas that's doing shit. They try to pick on niggas that they know ain't got no lot of security or ain't no gun or nothing. He ain't going to do nothing. They figure he ain't shit. He a pussy. He a pussy. I knew this nigga, y'all, from some set. I'm not going to say the set name. He was getting money now. But they didn't respect them. Nobody did. Man, they kidnapped this nigga every other week. You hear me? Every other week. And didn't hurt him. Pay he paid for himself every week like thirty thousand. Hmm. First week they did it to him, paid thirty thousand. They waited maybe a month, come back and get him again, thirty thousand. Do it again, come back thirty thousand. Now he wanted the most, you know. 
ain't my, ain't, ain't from my city or whatever, but so I'm the general, so I be here and shit. So I pull up on something. Hey, man, who the fuck is down here throwing dude in the trunk every other week? Man, I don't know. They be doing that to him, man. I'll tell you what, y'all better stop doing that. If y'all think he that pussy, y'all can just tell that nigga to bring the money down. Y'all ain't got to keep throwing him in the trunk. Woo woo. I'm just fucking with him because I'm trying to get the word out to leave him alone. Just man. So, they do exactly what I said. Look, we ain't gonna throw that nigga in the trunk, but go tell that nigga to bring that money down here. They still taking from the nigga? Yeah, man. And they now they got my name mixed in it. Shrimp said, just don't put the nigga in the trunk, though. We can get out and we'll put him in the trunk. Who the fuck said that? I didn't never say that. I'm like, oh, okay, okay. Since y'all listen to every word I say, and they say, next motherfucker touch mo, we gonna get out on the ass, nigga. They stop fucking with him instantly. It's the balls you have, that's all, because they knew I wasn't playing. They knew, oh, we can't play with the G like that. If G says up, it's up. You know, it's up. And people usually don't get into it, stones and stones, but they, like everybody, they do shit. Some of the niggas with more heart or do something to another nigga with less heart. A goon is like a, a wolf I always pick on the sheep, y'all. You hear me? The wolf always pick on the sheep. That's just crazy, man. I had one of my stone. I fuck with my niggas in Foster Park. Because that's why I used to be doing my little work at down there. I fuck with them niggas. The generals and a lot of these guys. I knew these niggas. Like. So I got a general from my set. He uh didn't fuck with them like that. Not in a bad way. Just didn't really know them. Somehow, him and one of my generals from Foster Park bump get into it with a general from down here, Brotherville. Let's peep the play, y'all. They get into it, have words or whatever, however he got. So my man come down here. He calls me, y'all. Yeah, I'm finna call Shrimp. Shrimp know these niggas down here. I'm finna call Shrimp. He called me. Yeah, well, I said, what's up? Hey, Mo, I got into it with such and such man from Foster Park. Woo, you know what's up? I'm like, yeah, I know him. Yeah, he woo. Hold on. Click. Hello. Hey, it's Trump. I said, yeah. Man, you know some nigga named G, babe? I'm like, yeah, I know a pair. Man, yeah, I just got into it with that nigga. Woo. I said, man, he on the other line right now. I said, hold on, man. Let me tell you something. Matter of fact, hold on. We end up getting together. I'm like, let me tell you something. Y'all, both of y'all, my guys, man. Y'all got to squash that shit. I said, it wasn't nothing serious. Y'all just had a verbal disagreement. But y'all will squash that shit. I said, you mo called me on one of my guys. And my guy called me because he knew I knew y'all down there. Both of y'all calling me. So y'all will squash that shit. Period. And no problem. They took my word. And they squashed the shit, y'all. We didn't have no problem. We went. We used to have a uh, picnic for Father's Day in Foster Park all the time. All the daddies would come. Like, had their kids getting money. We all down there. So my man, G, he, before we go down there, he like, hey, Trump. I said, yeah. You said it's be squashed, right? I said, yeah. Man, because, you know, I'm going on your word, see. You go, I man, you straight, man. I say, it's squash, it's squash. But if motherfuckers want to act crazy, you know we got them things for their ass, man. He like, I, I already know. I just wanted to make sure. I'm like, yeah, all right. When we go to the picnic. And see, they don't do shit no more like this, y'all. Which is why they can't communicate and a lot of shit happening. When we go to the picnic, all the brothers up there having a good time. Never forget, man, it was, we had three Carlos motherfuckers, we up there. My daughter was young at the time, y'all. Little girl, she was young, maybe about five or six. And uh, she was walking around. Now, me, I'm the general, so I'm in every circle greeting the guys. I got to demonstrate with them. We post up in a little uh, cut. They had the little things in the park. We post up down there, put our guys, which were from the Ville, all us in the section together. 
and we all demonstrating. I'm not under the thing. I'm out mingling with the crowd, but I come back in my den. Every time I look at my daughter, another one of my guys got her. He holding her, walking around. Then I come get her for a little while, and uh, we joking. I, she said, Daddy. I said, what? Who is all these people keep shaking your hand? I saw all them people, them daddy friends. Wow, my daddy got a lot of friends. That what she say. That shit took me. I never forget it, right? But this what tripped me out about my old man when we got ready to leave. We lining up. He in front of me. I'm in the back. In the middle is another car behind me. And he finna go right. He stopped. He opened the door. He like, gee. I said, yeah. You got your baby? I'm like, yeah, she in here? He like, oh, okay, I'm just checking because she ain't in here. And I don't want to get all the way home and you think she in here and I'm thinking she in there. She, I'm like, no, I got her. I've been keeping an eye on her. But thank you, brother. I appreciate you for staying on point to make sure I was good. You feel me? And uh, that's just what you call stone love, period, y'all. What you desire for yourself, you're supposed to desire for your brother. Mm. You know, I ain't gonna get to preach now. Let niggas don't know nothing about 9,000 miles due east to the sea, man. You did. Y'all ain't in tune with that. Woo, y'all ain't in tune with that, man. Y'all ain't in tune with that, man. You feel me? It's your boy G Shrimp, everybody faith. That. Hit that like button, man. Hit that like. Stop what you're doing. Hit that like button, man. Hit it again. Subscribe to the channels, man. Subscribe to the channel. I see it picking up, man, on both ends. I just got to keep it going, y'all, but I get busy, man. I get busy. Like today, I got busy. I just had my little hat. I was getting ready for the bad game. I don't think the bad play today, but anyway, hit that like button, man. I'm out.